So to filter out the data, there are many ways, but I'm going to show you two or three methods which you can apply. Okay, so let's come up here. And first thing you can do is you can simply pass the query directly here. Okay, so let's come up here. All right, let's come up here. And here we have the data. So, so here you can take the data and define that whenever someone hit the route, this is the exact data you have to send. So you can predefine the query without taking from the user okay so let's come here and let's do this one so i'll say that difficulty is going to be easy make sure it should be a string easy and one more property i want to add so this one is going to be duration is going to be let's say five okay so right now i'm just doing this hard code value so when a user will provide any query in the url that doesn't make any sense because here we have predefined the query which we want to execute okay <clears throat> so you can take this approach but we're going to make it more advanced okay so let me show you how it works so this is the query we have sent and we have apply in the find method and this find method will give us the only those data which is difficult and easy and duration is five so let's come here and let's come back to the postman let's, let's hit the request so right now we have nine document nine result but the moment we'll hit the request we'll get less okay so let's hit the request and turn this off okay because this doesn't make any sense turn this off and let's send this data and right now you can see we have two result you can see this is the two result we have and difficulty is easy and you can check the duration is five as well okay so this is one way to simply filter out the data okay predefined way to filter out the data but this is not the optimal solution you should go with okay i just want to show you that you have this approach as well you can do it when you are working on a small application okay and now let's check the other method so here we have this one so we have the query instead of defining that we have this one method also so we can use this where and in this we're going to pass this duration and we can pass this let's say equal to uh, the value so five same thing we have to do if we have other so difficulty is going to be this and we have to pass the equal value is to easy so this is the another way to add the predefined filter predefined query sorry in our router okay so this is the predefined and if you come and hit the response you will get the same result exact result you will get so this is the one method so there are multiple methods we you will find in mongoose okay so i just want to show you this two okay so that's the another one now simply comment this out because this is not what we're going to follow we're going to follow more advanced one okay so we'll come here and now we can do is we'll take this nft and still we have all the data in this nft and we're going to use this find method and now this time we're going to look for the request sorry query okay so we'll say request dot query okay because this query contain the object of the query which users are making okay so if you do this you will get the filter data so let's come here and let's do the test so now we can pass it out so that will work fine and that's the data we send so now we're going to turn this on okay so we're going to turn this duration we have one filter and we're going to make a request so you can see still we have this two because the duration of this two result is two okay so it's working fine let's add the other one so let's go with the price so if i make the request right now we don't have anything below 43 all the price are higher than this so that's why we're getting this zero result and let's go to the average rating if i make the request so still we have a zero because all the rating we have over 4.5 so still it's not working and let's come here so let's come here what i can do i can take this difficulty and that's what i'm going to add it here so let's add it here difficulty and it's going to be an easy one okay so right now we are applying two filters rating average two and difficulty is going to be easy so what if let's come here and if i make the request still i will get the zero because still the rating is not we don't have any rating which is we don't have any nft which is lower than two okay so for to fix this all we have to do is to simply come up here and comment this and now if we make the request and here you can see we got the data so we got the four result which difficulty is easy okay so if i scroll down and here you will find okay difficulty easy and you can check for all the data so this is working fine so this is working fine 
okay and in most of the application you will find that this is how they do the queries thing okay but we're going to make it more advanced and we will use reusable concept here because we have other resources as well in our api like we have user resource we have review resource we have best selling product resource so we have multiple resources so we have to build a model of filtering this query and displays the actual data in shorter term okay so we're going to follow the more robust structure so that's how you can pass the query in the entire data so i will comment out this and here i'll come here and i'm going to take another variable we'll call query object and i'm going to deconstruct the entire query okay so it will come in the form of object and i'm going to deconstruct it's a simple javascript so all the query we have inside this request.query and here i'm going to exclude a couple of fields so i don't want that users should make request on the base of field on the base of limit on the base of sort so these are the couple of fields i don't want to include in the query so i want to exclude that from the query so let's do that okay so i'll call excluded fields and here i'm going to simply take the array and here i'm going to exclude page i want to exclude let's say short i want to exclude the limit and i want to exclude the fields okay so these are the couple of fields which i want to exclude from the query okay we're going to add it but not in this query object so here we have that and we're going to simply run a for each method and we're going to simply delete from the query and here you have to keep one thing in mind so first what i have done i have created a copy of the query object okay by the query object and on that i'm excluding these four fields page short limit fields okay i'm not doing any changes in the original query okay that's the thing you have to keep in mind because we need that original query letter okay so we'll do all the experiment in this query object so here we have the beautiful method called delete and we'll call this query object and we'll pass the element so in this way we can easily able to delete all these four fill if user they have requested okay so if they haven't added in the query so it will work but if they have added then we can simply delete that so simply remove this comma and that's okay so that's looking fine now we can simply come here and we have the data and that's the data we'll take here we'll say console dot like query so this is the original query and this is the manipulated query we have so if we come here and if we try to make a request so let's do this and let's try to send the request and here i'm going to add that field which we have included okay so let's add the field so i'll say page and i want to access the page number two and i want to access the field okay fields and i want to access the field number three okay i'm just giving this randomly okay so you can see the logic we have work it's working fine so here you can see we have got all the data we have this zero data don't to worry about right now we are refactoring okay so we have this zero data but the one thing we are interested in which we have in our terminal and here you have noticed one thing the original query is there rating to rating quantity is 54 difficulty easy and we have the page two and we have the fill three okay so that's the original query and the second object we have got that one is the object query okay manipulated query so we have the rating 2 we have the rating quantity 54 and we have the difficulty so we have successfully excluded the page and the field from the query so that's logic is working fine so you can see this is the logic which is absolutely working fine we have built so this is the original one which is coming from here and this is the manipulated one which is coming from here so i hope this thing this time everything's becoming clear to all of you guys this is the thing you have to understand very important so that's the query object we have and that's the object we are going to simply apply here in the query okay if you pass it here it will work in the same way okay so if we make a request let's come here and i'm going to comment this part and right now you can see we have difficulty we have page and we have filled but if i make a request i'll get the result i will get four nft uh, okay we have successfully excluded the page and the fields and it's working fine we have no error in our terminal and here you can see we have the original query and we finally we got the difficulty one the query object so this is a very simple filter we have built on our nft collection but we're going to allow user to filter the data and send the request on the base of greater or less okay in those term as well so sometimes you have visited an application where you will have the slider 
and you slide it and the price got increased and decreased so we'll have those kind of those kind of functionality so okay greater or equal or less than greater or greater than high okay those kind of things we're going to add now so that's working absolutely incredible now what we can do is first thing we're going to do is i'm going to simply come here i'll say this build query so it's always very important that you should add comment in your code so you can know when you will come back to the code like after two months or after a week so you know that what you have worked on and here i'm going to say that let's execute query and this is the send response so that's the send response simply comment this out now things are looking good now what we're going to do is uh let's come here let me come in this portion and we're going to replicate this one and here we're going to do a couple of changes so here it's going to be the query so when we are getting the data it's coming in the form of promises okay so we all the filter system we're going to apply on the promises not on the actual data okay so i will simply remove this one because when we get the final result that we're going to resolve and send back to the client okay but all the filtering shortening pagination limitations that's all we do in the object sorry promises okay on that we're going to do that so that's what we have and simply copy that and that's the data we're going to simply pass here okay query we'll have this query and that the data we're going to send it back to the client okay so so far things are clear i believe okay so that's what we have here now let's come here we're going to simply let me show you how the thing will look so difficulty is easy and we have this duration is this okay so this is the normal mongodb filter query okay so when you want to add those kind of things like greater and equal or less than equal so this is how the filter system in mongos look like okay okay this is how it will look and this is exactly what we have to build and let me show you but when we are making the query request and let's come here and let me do this console.log query exactly and if i come here in the postman uh, sorry request.query okay if i hit the request simple let's say duration we have we have difficulty and we have duration so let's try to add this one so if you want to add the greater and equal to filter sign then this is how you can do take the bracket and here you type gte okay that stand for getter and equal so that's the command we have to give and if you send the request so nothing will happen you will get an error message don't need to worry about it okay because we don't have this functionality you can see this is the query we have and if we come back here in the terminal let me bring it up and here you can see we got an object you can see we have this difficulty we have this duration and this is how what we got when we make that query okay so let's simply copy this one and let's come paste in here and comment this one so you can see the difference we don't have the dollar in the query which we have made but to get the data we have to convert and add the dollar here in our original query as well okay so we're going to build the logic for that so okay so this is the duration everything's working fine but we don't have the dollar so we have to write a small function which add this dollar so we can easily able to filter the data okay so far things are clear i believe simply cut this one and simply paste it here because here we are sending the response okay i'm not removing this comment so you guys can have a reference that you have multiple option to do the query and request okay so that looks fine and i can simply format this document properly and here we're going to build a system which simply allow us to add that dollar sign to all the or dollar sign so we can make that request possible okay so to do that what we can do is we'll call it advanced query system okay filter filtering query okay that looks good and i'm going to simply bring it up and here we're going to bring that functionality remove that one we no longer need this and let's build the query okay so what i say i'll take this variable let so this is going to be the actual query on which we're going to do this manipulation so we have this query and i'll call it query string and here we're going to take this json dot stringify because it's coming in the form of object so we have to convert into a json and here we have to define this method okay so we have this query object okay here we have all the data once we have all the data now we're going to 
simply to call this replace functions and we're going to follow this slash b and this is a general expression you will find if you do a google that how to replace and add certain thing you will find this expression and here we're going to add, assign this one okay getter and getter equal to and less than and this is how you have to do so make sure you have to add this g if you don't add this g it will only replace the first one suppose example that right now we have this duration and we can also have a price so there we have this two unit two numbers which allow us to provide the like greater than equal to functionality okay so if you don't use this g it will only replace the very first one but if you use the g it will replace all that okay so, so that's what you have to add and here we want to create a callback function and that's the power of replace okay let's give a powerful callback function which you can add so we're going to take this template literal and here you're going to assign the dollar sign and i'm going to add the match which is the element the query itself okay so that's the system we have built and this will do our work okay so make sure you do this exact thing if it's still if you have any confusion just pause the video and try to understand that what logic we are trying to build first we are taking the query converting into a json and then we are calling the replace function and using this expression because we want to only provide this functionality in this greater than equal greater than and less than and less than equal okay so these are the only these four fields we want to add this functionality and then we are adding that dollar sign dollar sign and now what i can do is i can simply console log out the query not query sorry json parse and in that we have to pass this query okay because we want to have a look in our terminal in the form of object so we that's what we are doing and simply save it and now we can make a request so right now we have this simply make a request and still we get the error no need to worry about it let's come back here and here you can see we got a request but somehow it didn't work why so why it's not worked we need to add the dollar sign but it's not there mm, so we have this duration we have this but the dollar sign is not there okay my bad what we can do is we are not saving that in our query string okay so we have to save it we are trying to print the original query not the new one so let's save that okay that's why we have taken that lead okay so we have saved that and now it will work fine so let's make a request and let's come here and here you can see we got the exact what we needed to filter out the data so simply copy that and let's try to compare it here we have the dollar which have we have included in the query and now we can easily able to filter the data and mongoose will not create any problem so let's try the price and let's make this let's say greater okay if you hit the express we'll get an error but if you can see here we have that dollar sign in price as well get an equal function we have here as well so okay looking perfect so far so good i hope you guys are excited and that's the functionality we have working fine now let's come here now i'm going to do this i'm going to simply cut this and i'm going to pass it here so we can easily able to receive that data here okay simply comment out and that's the query we have and now we can able to find the data simply make a request and here you can see boom we got three result and our greater and equal to functionality is also working fine so that's what we have and all the data you can able to find we got four data in back so you can see the price is this higher price and the actual price we have is 43 okay so all the higher price we have here okay we are looking for the higher price and we this is the duration which is a greater or equal so you can see five duration and that's five we have here here you can see we have nine so it's not below the five but we need higher than five okay so we have nine as well so all the things is working fine now we can easily able to add multiple thing okay system is working fine now we can come back here in the code and that looks pretty good okay so this is what we have done we are excluding this then we are adding then we are converting and assigning all these expressions and then we are sending back the data to the client that looks pretty good so that's the only thing i wanted to cover about the filter option in this video hope you guys have learned something new that how you can do the filter thing in our mongoose how you can use the special method and how you can filter the data on the base of the request whether it's a greater or equal or a simple 
filter or advanced filter okay so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you have something learn something new so with that said i'm ending this video in the next video we'll start working on the shortening functionality so let's move to that